Hello and welcome back to another reaction packed episode of Chris the Butcher and Friends. And you know what? I apologise for the lighting. The weather has been shit all day and I put the kitchen light on. And because I've got spots on the kitchen, it's like beams of light. I'll show you, put light on quick. The light's on, look. Ah, ah. So it, it, it looks shit. I've got my lamp there, which is giving me some, it's a proper proper video photography lamp thing. I've got two, but I've only set one another cat set. I can't be asked any other one. Uh, so yeah, it's giving me some light, but it's so dull out there, it's unreal. And I don't know why the spots are all, all of a sudden affecting the camera. Because I normally have the light on, but they don't normally do that. But I think they're drowned out with the actual daylight, natural light coming through. And if I can have that, I can put that light there, spin it this way. But it just reflects off all the tiles and the cupboards and it it just looks shit. <laughs> Fuck me, what am I talking about here now? What am I doing? Oh yeah, uh, I'm doing a healthy-ish spaghetti alio e ole. Look at that. I can actually have the, look, the spotlights on there because they're not interfering. Look at that light, that's good, isn't it? Right, we've got wholemeal spaghetti pasta. Great with tomato pasta sauces. Made in Italy, it's high in fiber. Uh, vegetarian and vegan. Uh, cooks you 10 minutes, it's 500 grams. I'm going to cook a lot of that. I've got to be honest, I'm cooking a lot of it. We've got that. We've got some uh, parsley, proper parsley, not the jarred stuff. Some proper garlic, because we, we fucking love proper garlic in this house. Uh, and I've got some extra virgin olive oil. Because we are doing uh, spaghetti alio e ole o. Oh. And apparently, I think it, it translates to uh, pasta and garlic and oil. You can uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But that's it, that's basically, the, that's it, four things. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get cracking. The first thing we're gonna do though is gotta get this wholemeal pasta on. So there's one thing I did forget to say, that the water that you're gonna cut your pasta in has to be heavily salted. Now I have done that, that is laced with salt. Because you use, you're using the water the, out of the pasta to actually put in the, uh, the dish as well. Not all of it, about a cupful. Might be, might be more than a cup full because I've got a fucking mountain of fucking wholemeal pasta that I hope lose hungry. Uh, so yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, fucking twisted it. it fuck all, did it? Right. There we are, wishy-washy, wishy-washy. Fucking get in. Right, now while that pasta's doing its thing, I've got garlic to cut and I've got some parsley to cut. Uh, because this dish comes together fucking rapid. You will not understand how rapid this dish comes together. Also, you're frying your garlic. So you, if you overgo with that, it will turn the garlic burns, it will turn it bitter and you'll ruin the dish. So, filming it as well is quite fucking brave, I'll be honest. Especially, I, I'm having a bit of Moretti as well. Bit of Dutch courage. Right away, let's stop talking and start chopping. So, with the garlic... You've got to actually cut it as thin as you can. I don't know if you're on camera there, but you, you can use your fingers like that and just... My eyesight's shocking, honest to God. And uh, I mean thin. Otherwise, you're going to end up with like big lumps of garlic in it. And I know we like garlic, but we, we you know, we, we don't like it. We love garlic, but uh, we don't like it that fucking much. God almighty, my eyes won't focus. Look, I need some fucking binoculars, man. 
I should have cut it through lens at camera on full zoom. Jesus fucking hate Christ. Basically like that, can you see? I've got four of these fuckers. Do you know when I said it was time sensitive? Uh, I weren't fucking joking, was I? Because it's going to take me three hours, cut them bastards. But there we are. Something like that. See how I can get to the camera. Nice and thin. Whoop. Bit crude. Right, I'll crack on. I'll be back with the parsley. Now, if you're wondering why I'm using the Fill 2.0, it's because it's massive, it's undamaged, it won't stick, and I'll be able to mix it a lot easier. Because I've got a lot of spaghetti and a lot of chopped privet, to be honest. But the first thing going in is a, a good glug of extra virgin olive oil. And uh, that pan's been on that heat, so that'll be a mighty hot now. So we're going to go in with our... Finely sliced garlic. Like I said, this will come together rapid. You don't want that garlic in that oil on its own like that for more than a couple of minutes. Otherwise, you'll just ruin the whole thing. But you just want them to cook a little bit, loosen up, soften up a tiny bit, and then uh, we'll be going in with the uh, pasta water. That's laced with, with salt. I know I said sugar then. Fucking it is laced with sugar, I'm just fucking defeating the object. But no, it's laced with salt. Right, we're gonna do that very, very soon. Right, we need to get our pasta water in there, rapid. Whee! We knew that would happen. See there, I've kind of burnt a bit of the garlic. Now I'm hoping I'm gonna salvage that. I'm hoping so. I hope it's not spoiled it, but I did take my eye off the ball for a second. And that is how quick it takes. Now we start need to start getting our uh, pasta in there then. It smells all right, it smells all right. That's all I'm gonna say. Get our pasta in. There's a lot of it, might take a time this. Right, I've got the rest, I'm just gonna drain it quick. So I can just it There's the rest of our pasta. Start giving a stir, get that pasta caked in all that pasta water, the garlic and the oil. A bit disappointed, you know what I mean? I'm at point of no return here and I let that gap. After just saying about the fucking garlic, I let the garlic go about 10 seconds too fucking long. But it doesn't smell bitter, it just it does smell very garlicky, so I might and might have just got away with that. Right, next thing in there is a good fucking handful of chopped parsley. Fucking hell, I don't know what Connor's doing upstairs, but it sounds like it's coming through fucking ceiling. Chopped parsley, we'll save a bit for garnish. That's all we're saving that for, is to put on the top. And now we just, fuck me, it sounds, smells like I've just mowed long. <laughs> Just get that mixed, incorporated in there. Let that spaghetti finish off cooking. Said it takes 10 minutes to cook, I let it go for ten, eight minutes. So it'd have a couple of minutes in the uh, in the pan here, so it hopefully it'll finish off cooking. They say, don't they, before you just cook it, just before it's like el dente. Now, I don't think anybody knows what fucking al dente is. Hmm. Do you know what? I'm going in with a start parsley. Fuck the garnish. It's either going to be on it or in it, innit? You know what I mean? There we go. Bloody hell.
The thing is with spaghetti, it's so hard to mix it with other stuff. It tends not to what it doesn't. It doesn't play the fucking game. That's what it doesn't. That's what it does. It doesn't play the game. Right. That's coming off the heat, and I'm going to dish it up right now. Here we go. <laughs> Twist it. Oh god, it's all on the fucking side. I come a bit closer. And there it is. I've got a bit of a clean up to do around edges, but uh, as you can see there, we've got a fucking escapees. But I have actually found uh, a bit of parsley. It is dry parsley, but you know what I mean. Just finishes it off with it. Right, I'm going to take a thumbnail, and then I'm going to get down here and slide some of this beautiful homemade spaghetti. Alio e olio! Down me gizzard. So I suppose I better slide some down me gizzard then, aren't I? And what you have to, what is it with pasta spaghetti? You have to twirl your fork. Get it on there. Oh, Italians will tell you that. You have to twist your spaghetti. And then you get it on your fork like that. Oh. Look at the shine on it. That's from the oil. And that's going to be red hot, but it's going down my gizzard because I don't give a fuck. Mmm. Do you know what the it has changed the taste with being wholemeal pasta? I've been told that uh, it breaks down in the body longer, so it reduces it, it releases uh, carbohydrate uh, at a slower rate, like so your body can uh, handle it better, process it better, which is good for diabetics like me. Also, extra virgin olive oil is supposed to be pretty good because it's low in fat, definitely low in fat and stuff. Uh, parsley was fresh, the garlic was fresh, obviously the water was fresh and the salt was sea salt, which is also better because it doesn't it doesn't stay in your bloodstream as long as table salt and also it tastes ten times fucking nicer. Anyway, yeah, fucking go for it. You want to try that? You let me know what you think because I think that was mighty fucking fine. So we're back to the shit lighting. I'm sorry that I can do about it. I'll turn it on, it's just too much interference with spots. As we've established, we're not going back inside, I'm just repeating my fucking self. Anyway, that spaghetti, alio e ole. Oh! With wholemeal pasta was absolutely superb. I liked it. If you like this, press like, comment, share it on your social media, and subscribe. And become a family member of hashtag Team CTB. Where I, yeah, this fucking big daft diabetic prick fucking loves you.